Hey everyone, Amo here for more XCOM 2. We are just waiting on missions, mostly to get, we need an engineer. We're desperately behind an engineer. We also got, but we got this showed up, we can get a free soldier. So do that, because soldiers are great, especially if they're not rookies. Because apparently don't have a firing range on board, and rookies are just insanely bad at shooting their guns. So let's try to get a, try to get this free soldier. Communication's almost up, so we can start expanding our, our reach. Yeah, we got a specialist, cool. Squatty. That's... Wow, he looks... Wow, he's gonna be our hacker for sure, Mr. Mir. Disable truck. Get a little bit of money. Do we want more? Hold on, that's not now. Do we want to work on getting that done? We get so little money out of it. We're just getting more intel. Like usually, whenever I do these supplies missions, we get like $60. At most. We only have two more days. Let's just get a little bit of intel while the research uh, finishes. Put it down. Wish that flying was a little bit faster. No communications. New research, please. Take a take a sip of water. Okay. Persistence radio. Four days for this. Motivations. I forget what this is. Isn't this the uh, Skulljack? Such research. Forty-two days for magnetic weapons. But having that available would be great. But resistance radios would be really good because we get more money from that. Let's get that going. Valuable application stemming from this technology. Yeah, we have a yeah, no. As soon as the research is uh, I, excuse me. We can now work to I didn't click that. Oh, okay. It's just tell me that we can make contact, which we probably should do. We'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. After we there it goes, we're going. We're doing it. Yeah, I know. We've been. I wish we could. I even reduced beginner VO, and they still talk all the time. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. The Start scanning incoming mission? Oh no, it's the end of the month. It's fine, extra $150. We got new staff. Is that, are you a... Are you a, uh, engineer? Vigilance. Uh, harder for XCOM to catch them unaware. So that's probably just some concealment. Maybe we don't get concealment. And then the UFO hunt, which could be interesting. Uh, money. Probably go get that. Let's do the money. That's three days. Yeah, forget that. We'll, we'll do this in a second. We just had the month took over. So we shouldn't be missing out any income. Any income? Any income? Did I say income? Income. Oh, what do you want? Advent retaliation. I want money first. Everyone is speaking all the time and they need to stop. Yeah, confirm. And then go back get this money, and then we go back to the base, get engineer, and then we go back and or get whoever that. I guess while we're there, we can stop by. Ah, oh, it's an easy retaliation site. Why do you look so sad, Corporal Wilson? Click the promo button. I don't think we have a laser sight, I believe. Yeah, you could be the medical guy. We have the other person that we're going to make into the hacker. You could be our medic. You already have the med kit. The ranger and our other special <laughs> Mir. I love. I want Mir to survive. Look at his ridiculous. He has glasses. He's balding. His ridiculous hair. He has his insane mustache. I need this man to survive and become our hacker. You're coming along with us. I'm bringing you. Oh, but is it be better to bring a, a heavy? What if we remove you for now, Gomez? Do we have like a grenadier? We don't have a grenadier that's available. So okay, we'll bring the ranger then. Uh, you have the. You already have your thing, whatever. Whatever I'm trying to say. That's not the right thing, because you have to go to weapon upgrade. Never mind, this is the right thing. I know we have something. Laser sight. Increased critical chance by 5%. Improving even further with proximity. Probably give that a shotgun, because shotguns we're going to be using at close range. It already has a high crit chance, but nothing wrong with an even higher crit chance. I forget what I normally put in the shotguns. Can I not edit from there? I can't edit from there, can I? I have to go back. I do it from the soldier. So weird. Like, why can't I just edit her weapon from the weapon screen? That have to go to her soldier screen. It's so weird. Increase crit chance at close range. This seemed a little bit weird than the shotgun. I forgot I like to put. I think the free reloads like putting the shotgun. Uh, otherwise, I think everything's fine. We don't have anything better for you. I'd like to build the you know experimental ammo for the snipers. We don't have that building done yet. We don't have the building at all. We don't have room to build the building because we don't have an engineer. So hopefully, I guess since we're already back to HQ, we can go check out an engineer on the way to get those supply drop. Sky Ranger deployed. 
Begin mission. I don't remember faceless show up on the first retaliation mission. I know that's where you commonly run into faceless, but I don't remember they're in the first retaliation mission or they come later. Yeah, they can show up other places too, of course, but I know like retaliation missions in particular, they love to be faceless. Apparently the game is real mad about trying to load everything at once. There we go. I need to start. If someone does die, we need to carry their body just to get their stuff back. Then we, we've been, we didn't do that. We haven't been doing that much in the past. Only because I'm just so demoralized and angry that we got immediately crit in the mission and I don't even think about it. But if something tragic does happen, someone goes down, then we want to. it's good for us to save some money by taking them along. If they actually have anything, of course. Which one we get? You know, more stuff, more money, more technology, it's going to be more important to keep that in mind. Okay. This is a decent starting spot, I suppose. Obviously. Oh, you're starting in cover, too. <laughs> Evan came in hot. So did we. So hot right now. Um, I think I want Mir, Mir Cat. So I'm gonna call him Mir Cat. Nope, no one, no one visible from there. What about from over here on this box, Owen Wilson, our medic, Owen Wilson, the medic. Nope, nobody. Put our ranger up a little bit further. They see anything they can back off or hunker down. There we go. Sectoid and a soldier. Forgot what they were called for a second. Alright, and then that's your job up here. Um, just try to kill a trooper in one hit. That'd be nice. Just get him completely out of the fight. So don't have to worry about yeah, his shots coming in. Yes, I am happy. 48. Yeah, I doubt you have a decent shot. You don't have shots, you're probably going to... We can do. Could throw out some A protocols. Take a shot. Overwatch A protocol. She's only in half cover. Insectoids don't like to shoot their gun very often. But just in case. Throw the A protocol on. Gomez. Could move her backwards, but I don't think we need to. I think we're fine doing this. Plus, my defense is pretty good. And that's not a very good shot, but we can just roll the dice. Alright, unsurprisingly missed. Should be fine, though. And now, Mir, you can just overwatch. Alright, some murder happening over there. Looks like a Lancer. We know there's at least one. One group over here. One dude is not heavy casualties, okay. Oh, he ran away. Dude, I hate sectoids. Just run away! Like, what are you doing running away, sectoid? Where are you gonna go? What are you gonna do? Who's on fire? Why are people burning? Why are you on- why did- why is this on fire? I guess the other fire. Alright, so you guys need to move, because- Fire. <laughs> you can take cover in the fire. Dang it, we have to move. Or we're gonna burn. Why can't you civilians be in locations? Be in better locations. Better spots. Shoot the zombie. You don't really need to shoot the zombie. No, don't run through the fire. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking to you. Get up here, Margarita. Try to spot the sectoid. Totally spot. He's just hiding back here in high cover. Because he's a punk. 50 50. We just take out the zombie. Probably just take out the zombie. I don't really like this situation. Are you guys really going to be burning if I try to put you anywhere? I'd rather have you guys just not be on fire. It'd be great. You're not on fire, though. So you don't need to move on, Wilson. Poor Mir needs to move. I might just have him go nab, nab a civilian over here. And then he can sprint back here for defense. 
Do that. Don't spot anyone. Just... Don't need to spot anyone. Alright. Then hide back here is fine. Unless that's faceless and then you're dead, but you know, it happens. Dying happens. Should be a good hit against the zombie. Fortunately not dead. You have a 72. That's a pretty good kills thing. Go for the zombie hit. Because if you kill a zombie... Never mind. I was hoping you kill a zombie and the sniper can... Sniper can take the coin flip insectoid. There, it's dead twice. She's still in half cover. Kind of annoying. That Lancer still being a jerk. I want you to stop running away. I despise sectoids. Yes, yes, don't run away. Stay right there, do something stupid. Thank you. Just run up and hit him with our sword. Really necessary, though. Probably wildly necessary to do that. 75%. Pretty decent shot. Uh, 41, if you get here, if you get here, if you get here, you risk spotting a new squad. And we already used our sniper shot. Dang it, you spot a new squad. That's not what I wanted to see. But you need to kill this thing. 70% on, take it out. Thank goodness, Sectoid's dead. Now you're in big trouble, though. You're in big, big trouble. Mirror, if you get here, you can do some good stuff. That's really good cover for you. And that rescues that guy. Uh, maybe a little bit close to potentially dangerous targets. <laughs> Except you can't see? You can't see dudes? Alright, no, just loading, alright. I thought it was telling me you couldn't see anyone. I was about to be surprised and, and frustrated. Um, you're not on fire if you move there. I just need you to see... See her. So you can throw it in. Oh, I guess you don't need to be that. Whatever. Just a protocol. Gomez, for sure. Then you... 49. Don't have best shots overwatch if they try to... Advance on her. Are you a faceless? Ah, oh, crumb. No, is that Mir? Mir! No, Mir! Just don't get shot and killed. Oh, no. I don't have to deal with faceless nonsense. Gosh, faceless are annoying. Is that a whole new squad, like, right there? The civilians have to wait, okay. There shouldn't be any more than one faceless, though. Oh, you're eating Overwatch. You're gonna get crit and killed here, right? Watch, watch. Dang it, you missed. Dang it, Mir. No, it's not good. I know it's not good. At least he didn't shoot, but he didn't mark her, so there you guys have a better shot her. Alright, Overwatch. We can handle everything happening so far. Possibly not this shot. Dang it, she's hit. Not a huge surprise. Just annoying. Durr, I'm a faceless. I'm gonna come touch you. Herp a derp a derp a derp a derp. Herp a derp a derp. I'm a faceless. That's my faceless impression. Hi. You're fine, dude. Calm down. Ugh. <laughs> Faceless are the worst. They're the worst! What am I supposed to do about this situation? Especially this guy in Overwatch back here. Can do a tiny bit of damage. <sighs> we just have to- they have so much HP! Ugh, Faceless are so annoying. Alright, let's just take a second. So what happens if everyone focuses on this Faceless? We only might even kill, like, we might not even kill the Faceless. That's the really annoying thing. I'd love you to get there and shotgun it, but then you're gonna get flanked. Like, you're so vulnerable. Everywhere we put, anywhere we put you, I mean, have this guy on Overwatch. Like, Kapunk. You can't do anything too useful from back there. You have a Gremlin heal. 87, 57, 49. Is that the wrong guy? 
74 was the wrong guy. Hmm. 74, 51, 32. We have to bring down his face, so we also have to get this guy off Overwatch. If we're going to actually kill anything. Which we can get him off Overwatch with a grenade. But then we might not have enough damage to kill this guy. Which is a big problem. Ugh. Faceless. Or just have just. This, face, this one faceless wrecked us. You missed the 75% shot that we desperately needed to hit. Oh. Oh, come on. Game. Can't do this to us. Just throw a faceless at us and we just GG. So annoying that the faceless. It would be, it would be one like if he transformed and then we had a turn to react, that'd be great. But he transforms and then gets to move and take his full turn, which maybe would be too weak if he couldn't do that. But how are you even supposed to handle this? We just can't. <laughs> That's the answer. That's how we handle this. Well, you might as well break Overwatch. Someone has to eat this Overwatch, and it's gonna be you. Yeah, luckily, luckily you missed. I can't believe we missed 74%. So annoying. Hey, can you hit him? 84%? Can we roll that? What? Oh, XCOM! <laughs> Every time! 84% chance? Nah, you don't get that. Sorry. 88, you can go up there and murder that guy. 89, 88. What? Are, what? Just your shotgun would probably be more effective, right? 74, you can go up and not kill that guy. That's reasonable, right? Well, so, so someone dies to the faceless, we just have to accept it. It's so annoying. If you move here, you might actually spot the other squad. Which would be... That would really be the end of it. I think you just reload? Maybe just move? Yeah, you just have to reload. Because this little pistol shot. I was going to save this. Maybe we hit, both hit him with those rifles, finish him off the pistol. Guess what? Both high chance shots whiffed. Which is infuriating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can still take the shot. I might have to. That's all we got. So, what's your best chance to kill someone? I think in here, shoot that guy. Run up, you could run up here and sword him, but that's the like, We can't move anywhere with our sword and still be in a reasonable position. So go over here, hopefully you don't spot anyone. Or unlikely. 61%, but you're it's just unlikely. Take out the trooper. Go for the sure shots. The more sure shots. Well, you know what? That would have killed the officer. Well, no, no, not sure if we would have crit. We weren't guaranteed to crit there, okay? Wound, uh, wound the faceless. Your pistol's not going to do anything anyway. Hey, two damage. <laughs> Gosh, so brutal. Faceless just runs up. Oh yeah, it regenerates, so I don't know why I even bothered. Forgot faceless regenerate. Just just forgot about it. There was two rifle shots missing. So brutal. And she's still marked and in half cover, so she's dead. Like when I miss 70 and 80 percent shots, it's so hard to like what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to respond after that? Oh good, you're wounded too. And then you die. Ugh. Oh, now you're panicked. Where are you going, Sophie? Why are you panicking, Sophie? Ah, uh, Sophie. I guess what we should have done just sprinted. We should have just ran away. Just got out of there. I, I miraculously you survived that attack. Normally it does a ton of damage. You better not burn. Be sad if you burn. All right, you just recover, burn down. It happens. Oh, now she's and now she's going to get hit and killed by the faceless. Because why not? Because it is so fast, and we can't. Oh, you're no, you're actually on fire. You're you're on the fire. You are the fire. Jeez, do we just have to get out of here? Can we even extract? Yeah, we get. Yeah, we extract. Nope, we can't leave though because the sniper is panicking. Bloody panic! What are we supposed to do about the panic? Yeah, I know. We'll get. We'll help you out in a second. 
Heck, you probably don't even need a heal right now. Ugh, Sniper's just... I think she's just gone. I think there's not enough I can do about it. It's faceless. Can't handle how much I hate the faceless. Can't handle how much we can't roll to hit to save our lives, like literally. If we had those two rifles hit, we might be able to make a play to kill the faceless and then we'd be in an okay spot. Instead, everyone missed all their shots. But then our wounded, ah, is over frustrating running to the faceless like that. We just need to learn how to handle it, that's the problem. Like, we just need to learn how to handle it, which is shoot the civilians, just immediately kill all the civilians. Don't save them. That's not really what I'm going to do, but I think about it every time. I'm like, it's not even worth the risk, just kill everything. Just that scorched earth, the whole place. Because running into civilians is too, it's just too much. Running in the faceless is too much. I did not really expect that. I expect you to go kill the sniper. Well, guess what, our uh, fresh specialist? Yeah, he's a goner. <laughs> Awkward ragdoll. Okay, can you please stop panicking so I can do something? Don't you panic off that burning. Oh good, you guys are done. You done? Done having a cry? Call Sky Ranger. So I'm so I'm clicking the button. Call Sky Ranger. Call Call Sky Ranger. Oh, so frustrating lost two soldiers off this mission. Bail out. Russia, we missed 70 and 80 percent. I, I have experienced soldiers. That's why I have experienced soldiers, so they can't still can't hit anything. XCOM, just XCOM stats. That's how XCOM works. There's no way it tells you the. It, I feel like it doesn't tell me the truth. If I'm playing, like I've been playing Dark, Darkest Dungeon at the same time. If I have an 80 percent hit chance in Darkest Dungeon, I feel like I hit 80 percent of the time. If I have an 80 percent hit chance in XCOM, it's like a 50-50. Ugh, faceless. Maybe, okay, how to handle, okay. We just need to plan. We need to plan to handle faceless better. Ugh, I have to go, I have to go into like, Reddit threads on how to not get murdered by faceless. Because you get close to civilian, there's no faceless, and you're, you're just, you're, you're done. It's a huge problem, because they have so much HP, do a lot of damage, and regenerate. They could be annoying to deal with just when they're on their own, because the amount of HP they have and they regenerate. And they're surprisingly fast. They have to like sprint away and shoot it whenever you can. So it can be a, a they can just be aggravating to deal with them alone. But then when you if you're already fighting in their squad, ugh, ugh, just forget about it. Probably should just ran. Should just ran once that faceless showed up. Sprint through the Overwatch and just get out of there. Not even necessarily retreat. Get a new, more defensible position. Try to reset the fight if we can. If we can't kill a faceless before the rest of the troops catch up, just evac. That's what we should have done. Instead, we lost two soldiers, which is not crippling. Like, we're not out of this, but man, frustrated because our good we had so much momentum. Then we had to deal with that. Well, Mir. <laughs> I loved you, Mir, but now you're done. Yeah, monthly. Monthly reward decreased. Well, we need to go there anyway. I know. Stop. We, we got, we'll get that in a second. Alright, land here. Get stuff. Engineer? We do have an engineer. But you don't have the money for... We don't have the money for... Huh. Don't have money. <laughs> go get the money, we'll come back. Really could use the engineer. Might have to restart this campaign again. Despite having a good start, just missing on the engineers. Like, really crippling. Give me money. Okay, good. Money done. Fly back to HQ. Now we have money to get this engineer and finally start clearing stuff out. Get back to the engineer. Quick the engineer. Thank goodness. Is 20 enough for a rookie? Yeah, obviously. Nope, we need 40. Man, money is such... so tight. <laughs> so tight in this game. Oh wait, I need the engineer for the work. 
Speaking of money, so we can get some more money. Shush. It's the one dude, I just got him for him to work. The VO in this game is infuriating. <laughs> I wish I could turn it off. Hey, Con, man, I should get that tiny amount of money. Like, she doesn't even make a comment three times in a row like that. I get so, I get so salty playing XCOM, because like, why? Why did we... How did that happen? Uh, we missed 80%. It's so infuriating. A uh, new soldier would be fantastic. Do I have the troopers? Oh, not really. Do I have the money? Not really. If we go there, get a little bit of money. If I go get $20, maybe we can launch a mission. I guess I should do this. But it takes seven days. And this is going to spear by that time. <sighs> Probably need to go get that week worth of supply. You should get so such a tiny amount of money for this. And do we keep the progress? We only have four days left. Let's just finish this up. It's done. Not recommended. I can't do it. <laughs> Oh, wait. What's happening? Why did everyone just recover? Did everyone just recover from their wounds? I guess we just actually just had a ton of people recover from their wounds, and despite hitting ignore mission, looks like the mission's still there. We can still go get it. Perfect. Okay. So despite that retaliation mission being just infuriating, Faceless. We gotta handle Faceless better. We gotta handle Faceless better. Probably less aggressive. We need to be less aggressive with it. Because if we took those shots, like, even if those shots, I'm complaining about those shots not hitting, those high percentage shots missing. Which is so frustrating, but it happens in these kind of games. But even if we hit those, we could have just rolled not enough damage. It has a ton of health, and we're shooting at it with our little pea shooters. So it was very likely, might not have even killed it. Because what I was hoping was they hit it with the rifles, soften up the rifles, maybe the pistol shot, and then we can get up with the shotgun and get a big hit, and we just clear it out. Didn't get a chance to try it out because the rifles infuriatingly missed, but even if they hit, we might not have done enough damage. So probably need to be way more just cowardly when dealing with those kind of situations. But we'll try that mission next we'll try the next mission. Uh we're a little behind. Low science, we're low on everything. It's a it's a famine. Just need more money, we need our income. If we can hold out until we get a steady income and we have some actual money coming in, we we'll, should be able to recover. Losing two soldiers is a pain in the butt, but we're still in a better position than we were last time. We got surprisingly far, so we should still be hopeful. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like, enjoy the video, subscribe for more, follow me on Twitch, Alex, deal, and I'll see you next time.